Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at quizzes, an online platform for creating, using, sharing, and grading quizzes. If you look in the top left corner, the URL is quizzes, Q-U-I-Z, I-Z-Z dot com. Because there are walkthroughs on the quizzes site showing exactly how to create and use the quizzes, we're going to just cover some introductory materials and resources for when you're getting started with quizzes. So you can see what quizzes is and what it does. Now of course here at the top of the home page we have a three-step summary of how to use quizzes. If you scroll a bit further down on the page and they're frequently asked questions it includes a video walkthrough and step-by-step -step how to use it right here as well as important points like is it free? Yes. And that quizzes works on all internet capable devices including computers, tablets, smartphones, what have you. If you scroll down a little bit further there's a great teacher resources page which also includes a step-by-step -step introduction to quizzes quizzes and how to use it. If the slides here aren't enough for you, you can also download it as a PowerPoint, PDF, and a colorful flyer. A little bit further down, there's YouTube tutorials. It includes a brief overview, how to play a game, which is when students are actually using a quiz, and creating your own quiz. If you click on the Get Started button or the public quiz link in Frequently Asked Questions, this is what it looks like once you get into quizzes. At the top left, there's a link for the public quizzes, my quizzes, create quizzes, and my reports, which is the grade reports once the students have completed a quiz that includes not only a rundown of which students correctly or incorrectly answered which questions, but also allows you to download those results in an Excel spreadsheet. Here on the public quiz page, you can search by topic, subject, or user who created the quiz, as well as featured quizzes. Each quiz in this view includes the title, the author, the level, when it was created, the number of questions, and when you hover over it, it shows the questions in the quiz. If you click one of the quizzes in the public quiz library, this is what you'll see. A nice big link for playing the quiz, the same information about the quiz, including the topic, ways to share the quiz, ways to duplicate the quiz so that if you like a quiz but you want to tweak it a little bit or edit it some for your own use, you can duplicate it and then edit that. A more thorough rundown of the quiz which shows each question, the potential answers, including which one is correct, and how long the student has to answer answer that question. As we said at the beginning of the video, the materials that we looked at just now and the frequently asked questions and the teacher resources give great walkthroughs on further steps of how to use quizzes, both in creating your own quizzes and what it looks like for the students to actually quote unquote play the quizzes. This has been a brief introduction by Tech15. Thanks for watching.